Welcome, dear coding community. Today we have a real fun one. We're going to talk about Visual Studio Code or VS Code. It's an IDE made by Microsoft that is probably one of the most, if not the most popular IDEs that you can use. So let's jump right in. So what is Visual Studio Code? VS Code is built by Microsoft. It's a free, lightweight source code editor that's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It comes under the heading of an IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. An Integrated Development Environment is a software suite that consolidates basic tools required to write and test software. At your disposal, you have all these tools that are going to aid you in creating your code. This will help you to create code more consistently, faster, more effectively. It really is an indispensable tool for a programmer. VS Code comes with built-in support for things like JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node.js, and has a large repository of extensions for other languages such as Python, PHP, C Sharp, C++, and runtimes like .NET and Unity. Most of what I'll show you today will be geared towards the Mac OS. That's what I create my code on, for the most part, at work on Windows, but at home. Mac. But these tips will also translate quite well for Windows with slight keyboard variations. Okay, so the first thing we'd like to do is create a repository. And one of the easiest ways to do it is if you already have a directory created that you'd like to use to house your VS Code repository, I can simply take that and drop it on my VS Code application icon. And here you have it. Okay. Now, what if you wanted to create uh, a repository from the command line? Very easy. Let's see where we are. Let's see, D into that. Just to be sure. And now, very easy. All we do is code, period. And this launches VS Code for us. Okay, very simple. All right, let's get to some more tips and tricks. Now you notice right here, we have some handy dandy little shortcuts that we're gonna get to in a minute. But what if we wanted to open a second instance? This isn't as intuitive as you would think sometimes with VS Code, but very simple. We can do Command, Shift, N, and there you have it. You have your second instance of VS Code. All right, now what about the keyboard shortcuts? Because that's really great. We can do a Command K followed by a Command S. All right, Command K followed by Command S. And what you'll have here is you'll find all of the shortcuts. Some you'll use all the time, some you may never use, but they're all here for you if you need a reference. All right, and what about how to save all? Save, we know, would just be Command S, right? And you can tell in VS Code that you have multiple files here. You see this number three means I have these three files that all need to be saved. So from any one of them, I can do Option, Command S and you'll see instantly that number goes away. That means we've saved them all. So it saves me from having to go up to the context menu and do it. Suppose we wanted to select the same word throughout our script. We have an HTML script here. So say I wanted to select all the hellos, no matter where they were. So I can do an Alt or Command Shift L. Command Shift L and it gives me all the hellos and if I wanted to get rid of those, I could backspace. Now, what if I wanted to make changes to words of not the same kind? Well, I can do an options, click, 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 and I can add number one, or I can delete of not the same kind. Options, click. What about indent or dedent a whole section of lines? So I can do Alt, bracket, closed, 
and open to switch these around. At the same time, if I wanted to comment out, I can do Alt or Command and forward slash. And I can toggle that again, and it takes the comment away. So Command, forward slash for comments. Okay, what if I wanted to enter something before the word hello? I can do a Command, Shift, Enter, and just like that. And what about if I wanted to copy this line all the way down, or at least a couple of times. I can do an Alt, Shift, and then arrow down. Now what about if I wanted to move this last line that says World 1 up? I can just do Alt, Up Arrow, and put it wherever I want it, up and down, yeah? Now what if I wanted to traverse each part of this script statement here, everything between these script tags, I wanted to get each part of it, I can do an Alt right arrow and go to each part of the code if I had call to do that. Okay, and what about if I wanted to bring up the command window? I can do a control backtick. And what if I wanted to clear it? I can simply do clear, or I can do a command K. Okay, so either one will work. Our code repository can get mighty big. So what if we wanted to find uh, the word SRC, or the keyword source, in our HTML file here? So we can do a command F, and I can search for SRC, and it brings up all the places that we have it in this code with the first one highlighted here. Now if I wanted to do some more finding within my HTML file here, or any file, but we we'll use HTML, I can do a command P and I can use the at sign. For instance, I want to find the body tag. It highlights body for me. Um, title. Title's there. Uh, the nav bar. I can do um, my yes class, my para class, or anything at all. So it's really very handy, you see, especially when your code gets long. Sometimes you might find yourself with a need to jump around, especially in long files. For that, you can do a control G and then type in the line. Say you wanted line 127. So I can go right down to that line. Now I can select all with Command A if I'd like to. I can grab a bunch of code that maybe I would want to affect by doing Alt, Shift, Click. And then I can grab all this down. See how I have the cursor against all these things? Now I can do whatever I need to do to it. Now this code looks pretty rotten, right? Say you wanted to format it. So I can highlight this whole section. I can do Command K. Command F, and voila. Now what if I wanted to find a particular file? All right, so let's close these out for a minute. And I wanted to find, um, I wanted to find my test.css, let's say. So I can do a command P and test.css, and it brings it right up. All right, so there are various different ways to find. Those are two good ones. We can create the scaffolding for an HTML file. So we can do new file foo.html. We can type an exclamation point and return. Bam. Nice and easy. Now here we can do a few shortcuts to create some HTML tags. So say we wanted um, a div with a class of foo. Just dot foo and it creates it. We could also do and see how it puts it right here for us to type whatever we want. Um, we can also do div.foo should work. Yeah, same thing. If we wanted to do a span class foo, we can do a span foo just like that. If we wanted to do um, a shortcut of a list, with items in the list, we can do ul forward arrow dot item, just like that. 
We can do span with class of foo and ID of bar. That might look something like this. Let's see. Span dot foo pound oop, bar. And if we want sibling elements, we can do something like this. Dot nav bar plus dot content plus dot footer for instance just like that so it'll, it'll create a, a bunch of classes all sisters to each other or if we want to create multiple items we can do li dot nav item times three and instantly we have three of those created. What about if we wanted to do something like this? UL.com, LI.com, item times four. Yeah, and you see that we have four of them created. And what if we need some text and we want to generate lorem ipsum? Well, I got to tell you. VS Code is pretty good for that as well. So p dot story text lorem one hundred. When we originally run that command, it doesn't wrap. P dot yes forty. Okay, so it's not wrapped. You can see that here. And if we do Alt or Option Z, wrap it. We do it again, Option Z, unwrap. Now the other thing we can do is maybe we need several paragraphs. So we can always do P dot para abstract two for two paragraphs, lorem 40. Now we have two. And they both wrap because we left it that way. But we can unwrap again with option Z. Okay, let's use some of the Emmet shortcuts for CSS. So background, BG, enter, and then real easy in CSS, you just hover over it and you can change your color very easily. We can do color for text color, and same thing, we can change this. We can do margin, margin top, Margin bottom, margin top, 10 pixels, margin bottom, run M. Can do the same with padding, padding left, that type of thing. We can do font, font style, font size. So we don't get confused. Is that we can do font size 12 pixels? We can align our text. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Vertical line, or we can do possibly I want copies of this test.css right next to each other in my editor. I can do command backslash. For as many as I want. Here's something that I absolutely love about VS Code. I can right click on an element. Now I'm in Vue.js, Vue.js code, my main JS file. I can right click and I can go to the definition. So right here, first of all, I see that I have three different instances of what they think the definition is. And I can go here and I can see export interface view right from the main file here. This is the path node modules view, view types. So where this is installed, and I can see the various different elements that are in this export statement. If I have, you know, call to want to understand what's going on behind the scenes of this view instance here, right click, I can do peak definition, uh, go to definition, I can go to, go to type definition. It's wonderfully, wonderfully helpful. 
Okay, coding family, thank you for watching till the end. If this class has helped you, consider helping me to continue to bring these classes to you and others. Helping is easy, just do the following. First, subscribe to the Yogi Coder YouTube channel, and all you have to do is click on my little icon here on the lower right-hand side, and we'll bring up the subscription button right away. Next, you can leave whatever comments or questions you'd like. And finally, share this video on any and all social media channels with your friends and your colleagues. Thank you again for watching, and until we meet again, happy coding.